Well, folks, I'm wrapping it up here on the Blue Ridge Parkway, getting ready to head my way back towards Hillbilly Base Camp. Looks like I'll be up in this area for about another month if I haven't told y'all that already. But um, bear with us. See what else we get into. I am noticing that leaves are starting to change here early. Here in the last week of uh, August. <laughs> so anyways, see what we go to, where we get into. Catch y'all on the other side. Welcome back to this side of the video. Like I said, we are wrapping it up here on the Blue Ridge Parkway. See the occasional leaf changing already here in August. So bear with us, gonna head back up there to Hillbilly Base Camp. Here we go. Hey folks, I'm gonna wrap it up here. We have made it back to Hillbilly Base Camp. Uh, Randy's doing a lot better, man. Uh, I, you know, just just awesome. Uh, he is a walking miracle. He's not gonna need the radiation. That's just so awesome, man. Uh, he's healing up. You know, so uh, continue to remember, remember him in your prayers. But I'll tell you some quick things about the Blue Ridge Parkway before I wrap everything up. Um, there is no camping allowed on the Blue Ridge Parkway. The uh, reason is, is there are overlooks that people could drive in and out all day long. Uh, they do have designated areas. Uh, if you could try to get you one of these, which I've been using for six years, the Blue Ridge Parkway uh, travel guide, it will let you know where the camps are at, the paid camps are at, uh, how to make reservations to them. Uh, it let, gives you uh, mile posts that tells you uh, where gas stations are at and how far they are off the Blue Ridge Parkway. Be prepared, though, when you get off the parkway to go to one of them gas stations in some of the areas, it's a pretty good downgrade. You know, so uh, be prepared for that. Uh, tells you where restaurants are at, uh, Mulberry Mills, and the music uh, festival area of the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is in North Carolina. Mulberry Mills is in Virginia. Uh Every Sunday uh, in uh, April through October, they have free live folk music, bluegrass music uh, at those two places. You know, and um, uh, I do want to keep telling you, there is no uh, uh, there is no camping on the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's usually just off of it. Or if you do happen to say, well, hey, I like this spot. I want to stay here tonight. I want to check out the stars. Do what as I do, um, and you know I, I I'm not saying that this is allowed, but I'm just saying this is what I do. I set a chair out in front of my van or behind my van if I back in, and um, you know if I get the what's going on, I'm taking a break from stargazing. Never had a problem. I've only had uh, twice in six years that the rangers you know come and talk to me. Uh, 
And um, I tell them I'm going to leave you know, as soon as it gets daylight. Either I'm tired or I'm taking a break from stargazing. But um, uh, the reason I choose the Blue Ridge Parkway uh, uh, in the fall is uh, it's uh, 10 degrees cooler up here than it is down in the lower elevations. And in Virginia, you're running around 2,500 to 3,000 feet. In North Carolina, you're running from 3,000 feet up to 6,000 feet. So that's why it's so much cooler. Uh, and you can sit at the overlooks and watch the clouds uh, form in the bottom and just move on along. It's just an awesome sight. But um, uh, hopefully these are my plans for the rest of the year. Uh, September, I'll be uh, hanging out here uh, around Hillbilly Blue, uh, Hillbilly Blue Camp. <laughs> Hillbilly Base Camp. I'm still trying to save money because hopefully by now y'all know I'm getting a bigger van and I'm trying to save up the money for the, the build out and um, I've already uh, paid for uh, uh, most of the uh, repairs and replacement parts that are being put on it. Um, you know, so in the September uh, every year for 32 years I've been in it, uh, I've been there for my daughter for my uh, for her birthday. I'm not gonna miss it this year. So at the end of September, I'll be visiting with my daughter and my uh, youngest brother. And um, the first week of October, I got to go back for my six-month blood work. And it's time for Nebo's annual uh, shot. So uh, after that, I'll be capping my way, my way to Louisiana. And um, uh, hopefully uh, things will be already be in the process. Of, you know, that All the replacement parts, repairs have been done to the van. And uh, I'll start my build out in, uh, in, around Thanksgiving. That's when I told him I'd be back. So um, uh, Sue and Dave has invited me you know, to, to come back to their place for Thanksgiving. So that's what I'll probably do. Uh, there is one other subscriber in Mississippi that's offered for me to come uh, camp uh, at a lake on his property by a lake. So I'll probably do that you know, in October and November. And um uh, and then the uh, end of the year, I haven't really made no set plans of where I'm going for the winter yet. Uh, but I am leaning very hard on not going back to Florida uh, for the winter this year. So uh, I'll figure that out when the time comes. You know, subject to change, nomad time uh, is written in jello. Always some wiggle room and jiggling. So <laughs> that's what it is. Hey, I do appreciate each and every one of y'all on my heart. I really do. Welcome to you new ones. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the video or my channel, you made it this far, hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, let you know when I upload a new video. So for now, for me and Nebo, y'all stay safe. Y'all stay healthy. Keep smiling. Treat one another like you want to be treated yourself. We'll catch y'all on the other side.